Hey guys, I'm Emily and you're watching The Daily Star. Today, we're gonna talk about Jessica Simpson's new bun in the oven, the latest Jersey housewife to get a divorce, and Brad Pitt's big wedding plans. Stick around. Jessica Simpson is pregnant again. Surprise! According to Us Weekly, the pop star who just gave birth to Maxwell Drew is expecting. <laughs> I think we can assume what Jessica's favorite workout is. I have one little question though. Isn't this the same woman who struck a $4 million deal with Weight Watchers to lose the baby weight and now she's just gonna gain it all back? So how does this all work out? Jessica loses the weight, now she's gonna put it back on, she still gets the $4 million and a new baby? Forget Mega Millions, Jason's won the jackpot. Congrats to Jess and her hubby, Eric Johnson. I think the best diet of all is gonna be running after two little ones at the same time. Hey, who knows? Maybe Weight Watchers will give her another four mil to lose the weight the next time around. So rumor has it that Teresa Giudice is finally gonna divorce her husband, Joe took long enough. Radar Online is reporting that The Real Housewife is totally ready for a divorce, and she's just waiting until after the holidays to pull the trigger. For once, it sounds like Teresa's thinking things through. And hey, mommy and daddy don't love each other anymore isn't exactly the sweetest Christmas gift to her four precious daughters. Plus, the Gweetastic Christmas cards are already out. Let's be real though, we all saw Joe talking to another woman on camera, and we've seen the way he talks to Teresa. Sure, Tree is her own special kind of crazy, but after watching Joe sit around doing nothing to help his family, knowing the cameras are rolling, I'm surprised it took her this long to walk away. I never thought I'd say this, but it sounds like Teresa's making a smart decision. What? It's not illegal to say something nice about the woman. Brad Pitt just upped his hotness factor a notch. The father of six told People the other night that it finally feels like the right time to get married to Angelina Jolie. So hot, but so unavailable. He says now that they've had a family and are raising kids, it just feels like the logical next step. Whoa, finally. I never thought the big I do was gonna happen. Lucky for them, when they finally do tie the knot, they'll have about a thousand people to do everything for them. Hey Brad, I'm available to help. Let's talk themes, shall we? How about a Fight Club theme wedding, where the twist at the end of the whole thing is that Angelina Jolie actually married Edward Norton. Or an adoption theme wedding, where every single guest gets to leave with their own third world child. Or a friends theme wedding. Wait, would that just be awkward? Okay, maybe you should look for someone with a little bit more wedding planning experience. But hey, I'll be looking for my invite. Today's Extra Sugar is Lindsay Lohan. Last weekend, Liz and Dick premiered, and well, it didn't get the best reviews. And last night, Lindsay got into a little bit of some trouble at a nightclub in New York. The girl's having a rough week, so we're here to give you some love. What cool theme ideas do you have for Brangelina's wedding? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and follow me on Twitter. Steps back on Monday. Have a good weekend, guys. I feel like my desk got bigger. <laughs> I feel like I have more room. Okay. I'm sure the Gwee Tasta Christmas cut. Christmas cut cards. <laughs> Where every single guest gets to leave with their own third bull child. World, world. <laughs> I'm broken. Okay, I'm back. <laughs>